Okay, for these questions, I generally like to skip straight to the question and avoid the uh, all this reading if possible. Come back to it if needed. So a customer will be randomly selected from all 36 customers. So we have 36 customers. For a prize, what is the probability? So probability is what you want over what you have. Okay, so um, the probability that the selected customer will have ordered regular coffee without milk. So what we have is 36, right? 36 total customers. What we want is without milk, which is this line, and regular, which is this column. So regular without milk is 10 out of 36. Be careful you're not accidentally choosing 18, which is the total regular, or 16, which is the total without milk. So total customers is 36. So, and then that reduces to five out of 18, which is choice B. Which of the following inequalities describes the solution set for 3x minus 5 is less than 2x plus 1. So let's just subtract 2x from both sides to get our components together. And now we have x, and then we'll add 5 to both sides. So plus 5, plus 5. So x is less than 6. We did not have to flip the sign because we didn't divide or multiply by negative. So x is less than 6, choice J. Expressions is equal to 4 times x plus 2 plus 3 times 2x minus 1. So let's just distribute this. 4 times x is 4x. And then 2 times 4 is going to be 8. And then 3 times 2x is going to be 6x. And then 3 times negative 1 will be negative 3. So let's combine our like terms. We get 10x plus 5. And then, so we don't see 10x plus 5 here. Um, so we're going to see how else could we represent this. So we could go, if we did this one, expand it out, distribute it, we get 10x plus 5. So our answer is B. Now, if you'd really gotten stuck on this one, um, you could have also plugged in x equals 2 uh, to see what would happen. So if you plugged in x equals 2, you'd have 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4. Um, minus 1 is 3. So 3 times 3 equal, uh, is 9. So it would be 25. All right, 16 plus 9 is 25. And if you plug 2 into each of these again, so we get 2 times 2 here is 4, plus 1 is 5. 5 times 5 equals 25. So that's not always the fastest way, but it's a, it's a method you can use uh, if you get stuck with your distributing or just aren't seeing the answer for whatever reason. So if we got it down, to, as we did earlier, to 10x plus 5, and you looked over at your answers and said none of them were 10x plus 5, you just don't see it, then you can plug in x equals 2 um, and then see where it equals 2 in your answers as well. And of 1.36 times 10 to the 4th. So let's first get this in a um, standard form here. So 1.36, 136, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we had more zeros, so 13,600 times 4%. So I always say, I always recommend doing 4 over 100 because if you accidentally did 40% as opposed to 0 0.04 times 13,600, you would get the wrong answer. Uh, of course, this is easier to have a calculator. So 13,600 times 0 0.04 is 544 or choice G. What is the least common denominator of these fractions? So 4 over 35, 1 over 77, 3 over 22. So I'm just going to do three columns, 35, 77, 22. And since I have a calculator, I'm just going to see 
if I get a whole number for each one. So we'll start with 110. 110 divided by 35, and that does not give me a whole number, so I know that's out. Let's go 770 divided by 35. Does that give me a whole number? Yes, it does. So 770 divided by 77, does that give me a whole number? Yes, it does. 770 divided by 22, that also gives me a whole number. So I know that's the smallest number, right? Least common denominator. All three of them will go into that one term. So my answer is B. Point 327 is labeled on the graph f of x, x cubed. In the standard x, y coordinate plane below, the graph will be translated three units to the left. So moving three to the left. So minus three to the left. Which of the following points will be on the image of the graph after the translation? Okay, so we're just moving three to the left. One, two, three. So we're going here. So this is three units there. So that's going to be, it. this is our x coordinate right here, right? So one, two, three will be at zero, 27. So zero, 27, just three units to the left. That's a pretty easy concept question. So F. In the standard x, y coordinate plane, what is the midpoint of the line segment that has endpoints negative 6, 9, and 2, 5. So our midpoint formula is midpoint of or x1 plus x2 divided by 2 equals the midpoint of x. And the same thing for y. y coordinate 1 plus y coordinate 2, 2 divided by 2 equals the midpoint of y. If we look at our answers, we see that none of the x's are the same. They're all different. So we don't have to do x and y. We just do one or the other. So I'm just going to do the x coordinates. So we have um, negative 6 plus 2 divided by 2 equals negative 4 divided by 2 equals negative 2. And the only one that has negative 2 is choice B, so our answer is B. And you can actually do it in two ways. Um, we can work it out algebraically, or you can plug in the answers. Let's talk about plugging in the answers first. If we choose any of these numbers, right, and these negatives, then our denominator, this one, negative, if we chose negative 2, would make this undefined because it would make it 0. If we chose negative 3, negative 3 plus 2 is a negative. That would never give us a positive answer. So we know that all of these would be wrong. And now we're left with either one or two. So we can plug in those answers and see what we get. So if we plugged in two, we would get two plus two is four on the bottom. Two squared is four plus two, two times two is four. So four, four plus four is eight, all right? Eight divided by four is two. So your answer would be K. That's probably the fastest way to work this one out because um, you, can, you can do that without having to do the algebra. It's pretty quick in your head. But if you did want to work it out, then it'd just be, uh, so we have x squared plus 2x over x plus 2 equals 2. We're going to multiply both sides, so the whole thing really, times x plus 2. So this side would cancel, and this side is going to end up being 2x plus 4. And over here we have x squared plus 2x. And then we combine our like terms. So subtract 2x minus 2x minus 2x. And we have x squared equals 4. Take the square root of both sides, we get x equals 2. Whichever way is the fastest way for you to get the correct answer, is the correct way to work that problem. Okay, use the following information to answer questions 19 to 21. So we're gonna use this information for the following three questions. Um, large theater companies surveyed 5,000 adults. Results are shown below. So the age groups, number, moviegoer category. Tickets are $9.50 for regular shows and $7 for matinees. So I just copied the table here. Based on the survey results, which the following, which, what was the average number of moviegoers for each of the four categories? So we want to add these numbers together, 830 
plus 1650, plus 2320, plus 200, and we get 5,000. And then we divide that by four. So 5,000 divided by four is 1,250. So our answer is D. Suppose all adults surveyed happened to attend one movie each week. The total amount spent on tickets by those surveying that week was $44,000. How many adults attended matinees that week? So now there's 5,000 adults total, and we want to know the matinee adults plus the regular show adults, and that's going to be equal to 5,000. And then we know the um, ticket prices for a matinee are $7 for a matinee plus $9.50 for a regular. And we know that's going to equal $44,000. So we just need to solve this using a system of equations. So we want to get rid of the 9.5. So we can multiply the this entire equation by 9.5. So we have equal terms that we can subtract. And now we'll have... 9.5 M plus 9.5 regular R equals 47,500. So then we want a 47,500 minus seven matinee minus the 9.5 regular. All right, so minus all this. So uh, and then minus 44,000, and that's going to give us 2.5 matinee equals 3,500. Divide both sides by 2.5, and we get M equals 1,400. So choice G. So there's another way we can solve this, which is by plugging in the answers. So we know we're looking for matinees. So we're looking for matinees. So this is going to be matinees that we're looking for. How many adults attended matinees? Um, we know it's going to be one of these answer choices here. It has to be one of them. So we're going to start with choice H. And we're going to plug in the answers and kind of do the equations as we go. So 2,500 adults at $7 a ticket. So 2,500 times 7 is 17,500. And now we know that would be the matinee tickets. So the regular tickets would be this number minus 5,000 minus that number, because that's the total number of adults that attended. So minus 2,500, and that gives us 2,500. And we know that a regular ticket cost $9.50. So 2,500 times $9.50 is $23,750. $23,750 plus $17,500. That's $41,250, which is not $44,000. So we know that that is wrong. So now let's try a different one. Let's look at $1,400. Okay, so $1,400 times $7 a ticket is 9,800. 5,000 adults attended. 5,000 minus 1,400 is 3,600. 3,600 times $9.50 a ticket. The price for a regular showing is 34,200. 34,200 plus 9,800 is $44,000. So choice G is your answer. So whichever way works best, system of equations or plugging in the answers, that's what you should do. One of the following circle graphs represents the proportions of by age group of adults surveyed. So proportions by age group surveyed. Um, and let's copy the table over here. So which one? So when I glance at, at the percentages, I'm going to look for ones that are different. So I see choice A has 55%. But it's also the same in choice C. But when I look at the 51 or 
older group. They're all different. This one we know is going to be wrong. Um, 51 or older group, they're all different. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to look at 51 or older. And I'm just going to set up a proportion. 400 out of 5,000 equals what percent over 100? I'm just going to cross multiply. 5,000 x equals divide by 5. We get x equals eight. All right, so which one is eight? Choice A. So that has to be my answer. I only have to figure out one proportion and we're good to go.